what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh today we've got a bit of a different video for you guys uh today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how i play pokemon sword on my computer um i've had a couple of questions on some previous videos uh about how i did that uh so in this video i'm gonna show you how i do it. so to start off you're going to go to your web browser of choice. Mine is Google Chrome. Uh, you're going to go to the uh, Yuzu uh, emulator, the Nintendo Switch emulator uh, website uh, right here, yuzu-emu.org. Uh, all links will be in the description below. Um, so you guys can, can check those out and get everything you need downloaded. Um, so you'll hit the download button. Um, I've already got it downloaded, so you'll just hit this download button. Uh, it'll pop up w w by you know, whichever browser you're using. Your download will pop up. You'll click on it. It'll bring up a. Um, actually, I can just show you. It, it'll bring. You'll get a, a file like this right here. Uh, you'll double click on that. Give it a second, and then it'll pop up. See, it'll pop up. It'll say choose an option, update, modify or uninstall for me because I've already got it installed it'll say install for you uh, so you'll just click on the install uh, you'll let it install um, fully and then um, you'll open it so mine looks a bit different because I am on the patreon version of Yuzu uh, so mine gets updated uh, a little bit uh, more often than this one does and you know this one gets experimental um, uh, experimental things you know to make it run just a tad bit better um, I do recommend joining the patreon of uh, patreon of these guys uh, they're doing excellent work and uh, this uh, emulator is awesome all right so you'll start off by clicking it um, so when you first open it you'll get uh, uh, the components are missing that may hinder or hinder key uh, derivation uh, from completing. Please follow the quick start guys to get all your keys in game. Okay? So you'll just hit OK there. Uh, you'll hit the file button here. You'll go to open Yuzu folder. Then you'll get this right here. You'll get uh, uh, your name, uh, app data, roaming, Yuzu, and then you'll get this right here. So this is when you'll want to go into your keys file. And then, as you see right here to my right-hand side, I've got uh, product keys, title keys, and title keys auto-generated. So I'll leave these linked in the description below. You just want to drag those on to the... Um, I'm going to actually delete this one and put my old one on there. Uh, you just want to drag these on to your, um, into your keys folder. And then go ahead and close that. We'll close this, we'll open it back up. And then voila, you'll see your games. If you have any games, you'll see your games. So I've got Animal Crossing, Pokemon Shield, and Pokemon Sword. Uh, and then this is where you can just uh, just open them and, and play them. Um, so I'll get into my settings a bit, what I use, and uh, yeah, what's uh, what's the best, uh, best way to go about this? All right, so you definitely want to go for multi-core CPU emulation. Um, hotkeys, that's up to you. I don't use any of those. UI, I like the dark colorful UI. I just think it looks better and it's easier on the eyes. Web, I don't use any of that. Uh, debug, don't use any of that either. Um, uh, system, no. I don't use any of that stuff. Uh, CPU, uh, definitely go to accurate debug it's just automatically check um, graphics uh, if you have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card use OpenGL and if you have an AMD graphics card I would use Vulkan uh, so Vulkan will use your your graphics card as you can see that's my graphics card so I use OpenGL uh, you definitely want to have all three of these checked uh, this one if you have a um, uh, an NVIDIA graphics card you want to have it um, for this one 
Um, so I don't use that because it's experimental. Uh, so this is, you would use these on OpenGL only. Um, and then you would also have this one clicked. So if you if you don't have a um, uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, I would I suggest you turn these two up. Uh, put this at high. Um, this keep that as default. Audio I put it on about seventy percent because that's how I like to record. I don't, I don't like it to be too loud. I kind of like to hear myself when I record. Uh, as far as controller, um, the best thing to do is use it docked. Uh, I think docked um, makes it run just a, a hair bit faster. Uh, and then I use a pro controller because I use an, an Xbox controller. So those are my settings. Um, they're pretty, you know, pretty standard uh, for the game. Uh, you do have to have a decent computer uh, to um, run this emulator as it does take quite a bit to do it. Um, and um, as far as games, um, I'll, I'll just tell you, you can Google it and find them yourself. Uh, I don't condone piracy. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I dumped my games in order to play them on the, uh, on the computer. But you can easily Google search and uh, find the games that you want and, and download them off, offline. So... Yeah, I'll just leave that there. Uh, but as far as the product keys and the title keys, I will have them linked below in the description uh, for you guys to download those and put those in your files. Um, let's see. We'll kind of go over uh, the mods for the um, uh, for the Pokemon games. So I use a couple mods, uh, 60 FPS, uh, disable di uh, dynamic resolution, uh, force max resolution, uh, Pokemon Sword Wi-Fi fix, and I also use a randomizer. Um, I will uh, I will have another video over uh, where I get these mods and uh, how I did the uh, Pokemon randomizer. If you guys would like to randomize your game, uh, you just let me know in the comments below, and I can uh, definitely get you guys a video out for that um but yeah if you guys have any questions uh don't hesitate to comment or uh get in touch with me on twitter and on uh instagram if you would like to uh they're both linked in the description below i i also have a discord uh so if you guys would like to join the discord and keep up on you know what's going on with the channel and and whatnot and all the new things that we'll, we're going to be putting out this year. Uh, 21 or 2021 is going to be a big year for me. I can feel it. And I would love for you guys to be a part of the ride. Um, so, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If it helped you in any way, go ahead and like. And, um, yeah, remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I love answering your guys' questions. And I'll see you guys on the next video.